Hello beautiful souls. So if you are joining me in this meditation and you are an essential oil user, I want to invite you to grab Believe and Envision. And if you're an essential oil user and you don't have either of those, no worries at all. Grab some geranium and grab frankincense, lavender, whatever you got, all right? Now, what I wanted to talk about is earlier today, I was working with a wonderful coaching client. And we were talking about long-term goals, visions, and plans for her business. And it was interesting because for her, I really felt that it was important to start putting together a very clear, more detailed plan. Like write it out, start scripting it out. Not just making stuff up, but asking the soul, soul, what do you want me to do? And let's start fleshing it out and putting black and white details into the big picture vision. And I thought, you know, it's probably about time I do that for myself again. So after I finished my session with her, I grabbed my journal. I went and sat here in my meditation garden. I closed my eyes. I was like, all right, soul, show me the big picture. What are we doing? What are we creating? What are we achieving? And my soul was like, stop. <laughs> my soul said, slow down. Calm it down and breathe. And first and foremost, this is my soul talking. My soul said, I want you to feel who you are five years from now, when you're at your soul potential. Not being perfect, but really living your best life. Feel what your energy feels like. Feel how you have transformed emotionally and spiritually five years from now. Get a feel for what that's like. And I sat with that and I breathed and I saw this picture of myself just very calm and still and serene. And what I felt it was saying was, Toby, it's far more important that you really get in touch with this than to overly fix yourself on a goal or an idea. It's like, okay. And after that, I got some beautiful details through my meditation of what my life tangibly looks like, what I'm doing, how I'm sharing my knowledge, my gifts, my passion with the world. It was really beautiful. It was also interesting too, because I was like, I want more details, soul, tell me how much money I'm gonna be making. My soul was like, no, no, it's not important for you right now. Now, for some people that would be important. For some people, it would be very important to know, okay, my goal is to make X amount of money five years from now. Here's how I'm gonna get there. But for me personally, my soul was like, eh, that's gonna be a distraction for you. So the reason I'm sharing all of this with you is because we are all so different. The way we are wired, the way we think. And that's why it is vital, critical, that we learn to be still and listen to our own soul's guidance for how to live our lives, for how to approach our lives, for how to plan for the future. So. Without further ado, I'd like to take you on a little meditative journey to connect with your soulful self five years down the road. If you have Envision, I'd like you to grab it. And if you don't, you happen to have Geranium, grab that too. Frankincense, lavender, whatever you got, let's go for it. I'd like you to put a little drop on the center of your forehead. This is to nourish your mind's eye, your inner vision. And, apologize for the street sweeper, glad it's going by now before we dive into this meditation. I'd like you to take Believe if you have it, and just put a drop on your heart. And then I'd like you to just bring your hands up to your nose, rub your palms together. Let's take some breaths here. Close your eyes, breathing, stilling, slowing, calming, allows us to connect with the soul. Breathe deeply, expanding your belly as you inhale. Sending this oil or just your breath itself to every cell in your body. The next time you breathe in, breathe deeply into your emotional field. Even though it's not fully physical, imagine that your breath is going right to your emotions, nourishing them. Exhale through your mouth to release any stress, worry, fear, anxiety, etc. And one more time, a deep breath in to every level of your being, mind, body, spirit, your energy field, all of it. I'd like you to keep your eyes closed for a moment. 
Now is the time where we really listen to what the soul is saying. With our slowing down and breathing, the ego relaxes, doesn't need to control our thoughts anymore. At this time, your soul itself is in control of your thoughts, guiding your thoughts, feeding you soulful information. First and foremost, what do you, as a multidimensional, mind, body, spirit, emotional, soulful being, what do you feel like five years from now? If you choose your highest soul path, not meaning you need to be perfect, but you choose your highest soul path, how does your energy feel five years from now? And take a moment to allow words, phrases, images, feelings to come up. And how have you shifted? How are you different from where you are right now? What has changed? What have you let go of or released? Which major life lessons have you learned and really mastered five years from now? And now, from your soul's guidance and perspective, what does this look like lived out? This new energy that you have transformed into, what does this look like for how your life is? Perhaps your soul wants to give you details of where you live, what kind of work you're doing. It may want to give you a suggestion of how much money to be making. Or your soul may say, like to me, that piece isn't important right now. I do not want to impose my will. So I'm going to just be silent for a moment while you let your soul start to paint a picture for you of how your life looks at your soulful best five years from now. And what are some pieces of the puzzle that you want to know and the soul is saying, not now? What are you tempted to know and your soul's like, nope, not gonna tell you that now. And if you're feeling any areas that the soul is like, not now, just ask your soul, why not now? Why is it for your highest good to not know or see that now? Now I want you to ask your soul, what are my action steps to get there? Is it a detailed list or is it one first step for me to take now? Just breathe into that for a moment. you are ready I want you to open your eyes if you are an essential oil user I'd like you to take a little belief and if you wrote it in your journal like I did I'd like you to pull a believe on your hand and lovingly gently rub that essential oil onto the page where you wrote it and I just want you to clutch it to your heart Say a prayer for living out your soul path. If you got a detailed action plan, like, okay, you need to create a business plan, you need to do this, you need to do that, I want you to write that down. You can write it in bullet point form. If your soul simply said, breathe, 
listen, be still. I want you to write that down. But writing it down is really a way of taking something that's abstract and starting to make it practical, applicable, and tangible. And it makes it more likely for us to align with it and follow through with it. I wanna thank you all for joining me. If you'd like to go deeper with any of this, if you'd like to go deeper in exploring your soul path, where your soul is guiding you to go, moving past blockages, I invite you to reach out to me. I love to do one-on-one -on -one soul coaching sessions to help people operate at their highest potential. Many, many blessings to you until next time.